they want to be done with you. If we could just get rid of you. This hasn't worked for 2,000 years. They haven't gotten rid of Christianity. They have not get, gotten rid of the word of God. And they haven't gotten rid of the fact that it is appointed unto man once to die. And after that, the judgment. And they will all stand someday before God. People deny that. They don't try to tell me there is no God. They try to tell me that uh, the Bible is, has lots of conflict in it. It disagrees with itself. And I want to say that you've never read it. And there's another problem. A person can read the Bible, but if you don't have faith in God, you can't understand it anyway because it's spiritual. It can only be spiritually understood. So when people want to argue with me in that way, when a person who is an intellectual person, an educated person, disagrees with me about God, I want to say, well, I was that way too. I didn't, I didn't believe the Bible. I didn't just say, oh, whatever you want to tell me, I'll believe it. No, I, I didn't do that. I had to search it out. And I searched it out by having someone read the scriptures to me and explain it with scripture. And read the scriptures and explain it with another scripture. This went on for two years. Finally, the Holy Spirit got me under conviction and I realized there is a God. And I gave my life to him. And he changed my life and came into my life. And that's when I realized it's not a self-help course. It's by grace through faith in Jesus Christ is how you come to salvation. And when Jesus came into my life, he never left. That was the best deal I ever made in my whole life, was to give my heart, my life to Jesus Christ. And he gave me his life. I don't deserve it, but that was the most wonderful decision I ever made in my whole life. Never, <laughs> never regret that decision. Peter 